page nine. Page nine has to deal with Chief Meadows. Oddly, on March 29th, Chief Meadows sends Solomon Muhammad a letter informing him of what the punishment will possibly be. I am now at the bottom of page nine, which states from Chief Meadows, having reviewed all documentation presented to me, I am considering suspending you for 15 days without pay. It goes on to say, I will give you the opportunity to meet with me. 15 days without pay. It's important to note that the end result was three days, but we will get to that. Page 10. Page 10 is an interesting document that in all my years I've been out here, I haven't run across one myself until now. It is titled a reduced discipline acknowledgement. This was signed and dated April 1st, 2021. Page 11 shows what the reduction of reprimand was. The remarks are recommend five day suspension without pay and de-escalation options for gaining compliance training. Shortly after that was given to Muhammad, which is page 12, Muhammad expresses his dissatisfaction for the punishment. I feel five days leave without pay is an extreme action, says the gentleman who violated policies. Well, hell, I feel like what he did here was an extreme action. My professional consideration, <laughs> I've never, I've never, I've never seen an agency that lets the individual say what their punishment would be. My professional consideration is two days. Well, let me speak about those two days real briefly. Officer Muhammad, who used to be employed at APD along with Chief Meadows, before Chief Meadows became the police chief of College Park, then retiring, then to be the police chief here in South Fulton. Officer Solomon Muhammad is used to receiving two days because he was arrested while being an employee of APD, an officer of APD. He was arrested by Sandy Springs police for domestic violence issues. Those charges were dropped. He was then given a slap on the wrist from APD, given two days, given two days suspension with anger management and domestic violence courses. So it doesn't surprise me that he throws his two days out here. He's used to that. Last but not least, is showing the final from South Fulton, the final punishment, which you guys are already aware of, but it says the dates of your suspension are April 5th through the 6th of last year, April 9th of last year, uh, uh, and April 9th, excuse me, April 5th through the 6th and April 9th for a total of 36 hours. You return to regular duty on April 10th. What is troubling is to see that Chief Meadows' investigation warranted a 15-day suspension. Even though that's not termination, 15 makes a hell of a stronger point and message than three. If you look within the GBI's report, oddly, when Chief Meadows was interviewed by Special Agent Moppin, or Agent Moppin, Chief Meadows states that he contacted the GBI because I requested him to. I say that again, because I requested him to. Now, I know Fox 5, and I know you guys have covered some things for me before, and I, I, I pride on my credibility uh, in the media, but even I don't have the juice to, 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 to ask the GBI to, to, to come in. Only a chief, a sheriff, a mayor or the governor, to my understanding, can do that. So I ask again, why were they called in? Especially when featured in Ebony Magazine as the top cop in the land for police accountability. I say that because Chief Meadows was featured right under Erica Ford, who does outstanding work in New York City under violence. It's hypocritical to have an officer up under Erica Ford in Ebony Magazine for transparency 
when there has been none with someone that he stood shoulder to shoulder with. But I want to make sure I'm clear. This is not just this is not just about Chief Meadows. Since since Mayor Khalid Kamal has taken office, there has been this ridiculous infighting, ridiculous power struggle that many of the residents here in South Fulton were just sick of it. I feel as if, or it's obvious as if, my quest for justice and transparency is getting derailed by the infighting. Why do I say that? I have made two attempts, one up under uh, Mayor Edwards, to simply secure a meeting so I would not have to do what I'm doing today. We have a city attorney by the name of Vincent Hyman who sent me correspondence in order to have this meeting, asking me to sign away all of my rights in order to get into the meeting, and then stated that he instructed his clients, Mayor Edwards and Chief Meadows, not to answer any questions or say anything in the meeting. I have been around this country. I have been all around this state meeting with U.S. attorneys, Congress individuals, chiefs, sheriffs, and in my own doggone city that I helped create along with many others. I have to make a decision. It appears to be, as I close, a circle of individuals, elected officials, police, uh, department heads and staff that have this complex as if police accountability only applies to citizens. Not on my watch. So we look forward to our day in court. Charge Officer Muhammad with assault and a violation of my Fourth Amendment constitutional rights under the umbrella of illegal detention, under the umbrella, under, under the umbrella of illegal search and seizure. And we are also taking that matter up with how the GBI was even brought in with the U.S. Attorney's Office who informed me that within two weeks there will be a changing of the guard due to the new administration and I am in queue for a scheduled meeting with the new U.S. Attorney's Office to talk about some of these same things. Sorry for being so long-winded. I put in too much work out here on behalf of other folks to be treated like this in my own city.